there guys, it's Jenny here, back at you again with a new video and this will be the first of many advice forward slash discussion videos that I will be uploading to this channel and this is the first episode in a series that I would like to call Auntie Jenny this is basically going to be like an agony aunt type series where I will take in an issue from my subscribers, you guys and talk about it and give my best possible advice and tell you my experiences of this issue and the issues that I am going to be covering in today's video is uh, body image, self image as well as self esteem and bullying so here we go so my first uh, experience of uh, you know a low self esteem, a low confidence and bullying in general I'm going to generalise the whole video. So basically the first uh, time I was bullied was in uh, my, in my, I think my first three years of primary school. Um, and it was mainly from the older kids in my school. And basically because I was a very big kid at primary school, the kids would used to call me names like Fatty and Ugly. Um, because I was so, I wouldn't say massive, but I was quite chubby when I was a kid, especially in my later years of primary school. Um, but then when I went into secondary school, I was bullied a lot less about my weight. No one would even comment on the way I looked. But primary school in general, just, you know, my I got very self-conscious uh, after primary school, after I left so much so I would hate looking at myself in the mirror sometimes and also um, I used to have this um, problem with my bladder and I won't go into my complete medical history but uh, about five years ago, five years ago in March, so March 2011 I was discharged officially from hospital uh, reason being is that I suffered from a bladder uh, capacity problem uh, to cut a long story short my bladder wasn't developing at the rate it should have been developing so since birth my bladder has been developing at a very slow rate and at the moment uh, my bladder is of the capacity that it should be now but Back in primary school and early uh, secondary school, before I was discharged from hospital when I was in year nine, I had to wear sanitary towels to school. Uh, but sanitary towels are mainly used by women who are on their period. And that used to embarrass me and I used to have a card um, that stated that I needed to go to the toilet ASAP otherwise I would be prone to wetting myself a lot and because of that problem the kids at primary school would also used to call me smelly and that used to make me very very self-conscious about my problem but in the end of the day I had a problem with my body that I could not help I mean how, how would someone it help it, to those who bullied me, how would I like you like it if I commented about something about your body that you could not control? You would be pretty hurt, wouldn't you? So my advice would be to just to think before you speak. It's just it just people just don't think before they put something out there on YouTube, put a comment out there, comment on a photo of you on I don't know Instagram or something. And it just hurts me that knowing that, you know, kids are going through quite crappy and shitty experiences, to be honest. Um, and it scares me with the, with the whole stories of teenagers that have been, and young people that have been bullied so much, it then leads them to commit suicide, which I do not, I do not approve of. Because your life is way more important, okay? You are you you can't help being you i have been judged for you know my weight i am nine and a half stone i don't really care what people say about my weight anymore because 
let's just put it this way, some people have come into my life and really helped me embrace who I am. Some of those people are still with me, some of those people aren't in my life anymore, but they, and they know exactly who they are, but they have helped me a great deal over the past five years especially, because again I was that kind of person that wanted to be loved by everybody but the older I got the more I realized that not everybody is going to like you not everybody is going to be on your side and I've accept fully accepted that because I was hanging around with people and I was trying to get with those cool popular kids but then one day a friend of mine called Kieran Goodwin came up to me and said why the hell do you still hang out with those guys they don't embrace who you are they don't you know they don't actually give a damn about you and he said right tomorrow you ditch those friends and I will introduce you to my friends and Kieran then introduced me to my friends and Amy as well who I'm going to shout out in this video and from then on, you know, I had finally found a group of people that I can relate to. I can talk about bands to. I could talk about rock music, heavy metal, geeky stuff, anime, that kind of stuff that I was actually interested in. But the friends that I was friends with, they just didn't give a monkeys about what I liked, you know. And, you know, especially at prom, when we left school, prom was when I pure and simply gave them the old you know that kind of thing because I was dressed in my prom dress I finally felt confident in my own skin I walked out of that limo and everybody just went Jenny you look you look gorgeous and everybody was I was like oh who me and I started you know doing that with my hair and stuff like that and that made me feel really confident and then I went to college and you know I was doing a media course and I was that I was actually interested in and I met so many like minded individuals some again some are still with me some have unfortunately left me but I will never forget those people that embraced who I was and helped me gain confidence and that was that is basically what I want to say to all of you guys if you have the right people in your life Talk to people, find like-minded individuals like yourself and, you know, embrace who you are. I'm nine and a half stone. I don't care. This is me. I'm Jennifer Diana Williamson and there will only be one of me. And just reach out to people that have the same interests as you and, you know, breathes the same air as you sort of thing. And I honestly swear to God to you that you will be 100% confident in your own skin. At the moment, I am still trying to get confident in my own skin, but I will get there one day when I meet the right people, and I I do have the right people in my life, but sort of meeting that guy that will love me for who I am and accept me emotionally, mentally, and physically, I will be 100% happy. So yes, just, surround yourself with good people good vibes that kind of stuff that would be my honest advice to you guys so i hope you guys enjoyed this first episode of auntie jenny once again i've been jennifer williamson please like comment and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and i hope to see you next time you take care my lovelies blowing kisses goodbye if you enjoyed today's video please click on totoro here to subscribe to my channel or you can follow me on Instagram and on Twitter. Links are down in the description below or on the video itself. So please follow me on Instagram or Twitter. Once again, guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. And I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye!